Grand rising to my tribe. You know the vibe. Bro, I just got done running and working out. I just worked out for an hour and a half and then I ran a mile. And I literally just walked in the crib like less than two minutes ago and turned the camera on. Cause I just was journaling and I was thinking while I was working out and running. And I just feel like I gotta talk about something real quick. So if you're new to the channel, man, what's good with you? Appreciate you tapping in. But we're gonna start with our deep breath like we do in the beginning of every video. So we gotta align our body, our mind, our soul, and our energy. So let's get it, man. Y'all ready? Let's go. Praise to the most high. All right, man. Y'all seeing me sweaty, just getting done. I'm about to make me a shake. Got a little bit of a green shake left. I got some, uh, what's in here? It's kale, kale spinach, a lemon, some, uh, some watermelon, an orange, and some sea moss. It's all in here. So I'm about to drink this real quick. Then I'm gonna make me a peanut butter and banana shake too. Put some cinnamon in that thing. Put some ice in here first. All right. Throw two bananas in this thing real quick. You feel me? You feel me? Count how many times I say you feel me in this video. Cause I be editing my videos like damn, yeah, I say that junk in every sentence. Damn there. If you a dude and you cut up your bananas before you put them in the blender, I don't know if I can respect you. Cause what the fuck the point of cutting them? You could just break them shit. Some almond milk. If you always get if you always get peanut butter on the side of your cup and you be and they get you mad, that's a quick tip. Blend it first and then add the peanut butter. Oh, that's too much cinnamon. Oh, well. Cinnamon never hurt nobody. Mm. All right, man. Got my two shakes. I'm about to drown these shits. I'm gonna drown this one. Get that nutrients in me. And I'm gonna sip on this one nice and slow. Getting to the point, man. I was, like I said, I was journaling this morning and something I've been new, but reminding myself when I was writing is that self-love, bro, is hard work, man. It's about the hard work you put into it, you feel me? Like, self-love is not self-maintenance. Like, getting your hair and your nails done, getting a haircut, all of that stuff is not self-love. Like, it's self-love in a way, but it's like, it's self-love, but to like a real shallow extent. You feel me? Like, it's it's not it's not deep self-love for real. It's like, that's, that's, that's more so self-maintenance. Self-love is the inner work that you do on yourself. And it don't even matter your religion. It don't matter if you're spiritual. It don't matter. Like, self-love is the work that you do on yourself. Self-love is the healing work, the work that's challenging when you facing your demons, when you when you when you facing your fears, when you getting up and moving your body because you don't want to or when you don't want to. You feel me? Go check the go check my community post. I just posted something about that today. Like get up, fuel your body, move your body and all of that. Self love is releasing things that no longer serve you in multiple different ways, whether that's writing, whether that's artistically, whether that's writing music or singing, whether that's creating beats or something, whether that's drawing or painting pictures, whether it's like like anything artistically. Any way that you see fit to, to release some shit that, that you've been holding on to or that's bothering you or that's holding you back, like, that's self-love. Bro, self-love is holding yourself accountable. Self-love is discipline. Discipline is the highest form of self-love, bro. You feel me? Discipline is the absolute highest form of self-love and, and, and accountability, bro. Holding yourself accountable. Working out, making sure your body healthy and making sure your body fit. Making sure you exercise and working out or training every day. That's self-love. Loving yourself at every stage that you are in your journey, in your in your fit journey, in your life journey. Like whether you fat, slim, skinny, 
bulky, cut up, whatever, it don't matter. Like loving yourself at every stage, accepting yourself at every stage, and then changing yourself if you so choose to change yourself or if you desire to change yourself. Because desire and cho and, and desire and making a choice is two different things, you feel me? You could desire to 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 cut the grass all day. You feel me? I'm in the backyard looking at the grass. So it's like, I could desire, I could have a desire to cut this grass for my whole damn life if I wanted to. But I'm not making a choice until I get up and move. You feel me? Your words is not a choice. Words ain't gonna get you shit. It's your actions. You feel me? And don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying? You could, you could, you could say different things to yourself or, or speak different things to the universe and, and state affirmations and shit. But ultimately, it's what you believe in your heart and what you choose to do with your body and with your actions. So like I said, you feel me, like the self-maintenance shit, when you getting a haircut or getting your hair done or getting your nails done or getting a pedicure or whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, th those are things you can do to love on yourself, but that's not, that's not really the work that you need to do to really love yourself. You feel me? Because there's people out here that, that stay with a fresh cut and hate they self. There's people out here that stay with their hair and nails, sh and nails done, but fucking hate they self and hate everybody around them. Self-love is loving yourself and also loving other people. Even if you ain't got the capacity to love on other people, it's still having love for other people. You feel me? Self-love, I feel like, is when you doing shit like fueling your body instead of just feeding your body with shit. You feel me? Because you could feed your body with all types of fucked up badass food. You could feed your body with all types of alcohol and drugs. But are you fueling your body? I feel like, I feel like so. Okay. big ass bug out here bro I feel like self love is the nitty gritty work the shit that you don't really want to do but you know you gotta do for yourself in order to elevate and raise your frequency and in order to elevate and raise your vibrations so that you vibrating outward and being radiant you feel me so that your vibrations are radiant I spoke on it a little bit in my last video how I chose to be more magnetic and attractive and like I said in the last video, not attractive in the sense of my face or like my looks, but attractive as in I'm able to attract shit to myself. I'm able to attract things into my reality. I feel like self-love, for me, something that I need to do, like I said, I wrote about it too, is that I need to, um, I need to be okay with moving slower and being more in the moment. Like, I'm in a beautiful ass house. I got all the money that I need right now, not that I want and desire, but that I need right now. I got my daughter, I got food and I got money for food. And so I feel like I really need to slow down and like, and drop down in the comment section if you, if you, if you agree with what I'm about to say. Like, just let me know. But like, I feel like I need to slow down. I feel like I need to really slow down and be more in the moment with everything and feel my way through shit because for the past two years, I've been stuck in grind mode, trying to trying to elevate my life and get my life back on track from being homeless and not having my daughter and not having money and being broke and all of that shit. I feel like I've been stuck in grind mode. And so like, I'm so used to just moving and moving and moving. And if I'm not moving, I feel like I'm not doing nothing, but I feel like I need to slow it down a little bit and actually take care of myself because I don't need to always be moving just to be productive. You feel me? Like, one of my coaches said something to me in college that I'll never forget a day of my life, and I'm going to preach this to my kids. Movement doesn't mean productivity. You feel me? Because you could be like an octopus on roller skates, right? Octopus got eight different, eight different tentacles, and if you got eight different roller skates and you put an octopus on them roller skates, that's a lot of fucking movement. But do that mean that he going anywhere? Not at all. You feel me? So he always told us, don't be an octopus on roller skates. And I feel like that's what I was starting to be up until recently. Cause I needed to feel like I was moving just to be productive. I need to, I need to train my mind and my body to get used to being still again. And not still as in not moving and not doing shit, but still as in, as in like being okay and not being so worried and not being so afraid that something is gonna happen. Like creating my reality and creating my work in my mind and then acting on it in the physical. Like like if you 
Like if you've been tapped in with me back when I was homeless, you saw what I was eating every day. I was at Chipotle every single day, spending $4.58 on my meal every single day. All I did was get rice, beans, chips, and a cup for water, bro. And it was $4.58 every single time. And so like I, I found myself recently, like sometimes y'all see me post meals and shit on YouTube and on Instagram when I'm eating with my daughter every once in a while. But bro, 98% of the time, bro, the way I be eating is like I eat so scarcely. Like I eat as if I gotta save and I gotta I gotta keep fucking big ass bug, bro. My fault, y'all. I had to smack the shit out that bug. It was getting on my nerves. But um yeah, bro, like, I be eating, I be eating so scarcely, like, as if I gotta keep saving, as if I'm not gonna have food in the future. You, you feel what I'm saying? As if I gotta, as if I gotta preserve my food, as if I gotta preserve the money for my food, or something like that. And instead of living out of a, out of a place of scarcity, I need to start moving and living out of a place of abundance. And I realized as I was writing that I've been living out of a place of scarcity and preservation because that's what I condition myself to do in order to maintain, stay afloat, and then also elevate my life financially and get back on track and get back into, and yeah, just to get back on track with my life, you feel me? Because I've been in survival mode and grind mode for the past two years. So it's like, I gotta recondition myself to get out of survival mode, to get, to stay in grind mode, but out of survival mode. Stay in grind mode, but now from a place of abundance. Now from a place where it's because it's what I choose to do rather than because it's what I have to do. And since I consciously condition myself into that state of being, because I conditioned myself to be that way when I was down bad, now I gotta consciously recondition myself back out of that and consciously condition myself into a place of abundance and love, and most importantly, self-love. Loving on myself without worry, loving on myself without fear, loving on myself without thinking about, am I gonna have time or the opportunity to love on myself? Because now I got it, bro. I got the time, I got the opportunity. I got the I got the house, I got the food, I got the money, I got the I got the position that I wanted to be in. Like I'm I'm literally in the position that I used to pray for day and night. Like endlessly. I'm in that position right now that I used to pray for. Thank you, God, for me being in this position. But I'm in that position that I used to pray to be in, bro. And so now that I'm here, like I realized as I was journaling this morning, like I really gotta take advantage of that shit, bro. Like it's like I'm straight right now. I'm good to do what I gotta do. So I gotta just feel comfortable in that space and move from a place of love and love on myself unconditionally and love on myself relentlessly, bro. Every day moving from a place of gratitude and thankfulness and abundance and just really getting used to feeling comfortable in that space because it's crazy how you could really feel uncomfortable in a space that's peaceful or uncomfortable in a space that's supposed to be comfortable, right? But feel comfortable in an uncomfortable space. You get what I'm saying? Let me run that back. It's crazy how you could feel comfortable in an uncomfortable space, but uncomfortable in a comfortable space. It's crazy how circumstances and just life events really condition the fuck out of you, bro. I took a picture of it in my phone too, what I wrote down in my journal. So I'm gonna say, what we gotta start doing, bro, is gotta start back with these affirmations, get in the mirror, talk to yourself in the mirror. So positive self mirror talk, working out, eating right, getting good rest, getting a good amount of rest, slowing down to enjoy the moment in and, and, and my day, every single day, taking time to meditate, taking time to pray more, get back to reading every day, slow down to work hard on changing my mentality more than anything. Slow down to work hard on changing my mentality, bro. Building more self-discipline, making myself uncomfortable every day so that I don't have to fall into an uncomfortable space by fate or by chance. Like make yourself uncomfortable in order to be comfortable. You feel what I'm saying? Did that make sense? Cause I just talked about comfortability. So it's like make yourself uncomfortable in a way where you challenging yourself so that you don't have to be challenged so much by the universe, you challenge yourself. You know, when I was in school, bro, 
one of my older one of my older homies, he had sat me down one time, bro, and he was like, Yo, what's your net worth? I'm like, nigga, I ain't got no net worth, nigga. I'm in college right now. He like, nah, bro. I ain't talking about money. I'm talking about what's your self net worth? And I'm like, I'm like, what you mean? Talk to me. And he like, bro, every day you gotta have a net worth in mind of how much you worth and how much you will allow in your life or out of your life and work on yourself every day and every day you need to raise your net worth you need to raise your stock he said you need to raise your stock like your self stock the stock within yourself you need to raise that shit every day you need to be doing something every day every day you need to be doing something to raise your own net worth and I don't, that's something else I'll never forget bro and honestly I feel like it's time for that like so I'm basically just talking to y'all on what I reflected on when I was journaling this morning before I worked out and shit like that. So hopefully that, you feel me, that help y'all out a little bit on y'all journey too. Y'all know we on this self-love journey that I that I just started a few days ago. So so make sure if you're still watching this video right now, you drop down in the comment section, try, you feel me, or, or self-love, or I'm with you, or I'm rocking with you, or something, you feel me? Make sure you like this video. Make sure you fuel your body, man. I got my other shake. I'm about to drink this. And I still ain't drinking yet. Make sure you fueling your body. Make sure you moving your body. Make sure you make sure you training your mind and training your body, bro. And make sure instead of making excuses, you making a way. If you got something you gotta do, and you got something you need to do or want to do, don't make an excuse. Make a way. Don't find an excuse. Find a way, bro. So. So if you're not subscribed already, but you enjoyed the vibe, make sure you subscribe and join the tribe, bro. Peace and love, y'all. Deuces.